Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Candle Nurse. If you're new here, my name is Emily. My channel is based off of home fragrance and I am part of the candle community. I am actually just kind of getting started here. I have a plethora of candles in my home, including different brands. Bath and Body Works, Homeworks, Kringle, I've just Candleberry, I don't want to let go of the little ones, um, A Cheerful Giver, just started in Scentsy, and so I have a passion for home fragrance, I'm a candle collector, or shall I say I was, I've decided that holding on to candles is not something I want to do, I, ha I want to enjoy the candles that I have been given or that I have purchased, I shop around all year at good sales to get the majority of my candles that I get at a good price. I do work full time, busy, busy life, and I also want to enjoy my busy life and something that I enjoy is home fragrance. I also enjoy like the ambiance of a flame, you know, and so I want to make sure that what I'm doing, I am, and I'm burning is quality and I'm enjoying the experience and that, you know, I have been watching the candle community on YouTube. I actually watch several different communities on YouTube. I'm on YouTube a lot. I don't really watch TV that much. Biggest one that I'm a fan of is Home Fragrance, the candle community of all sorts. The Scentsy community is one that I've been just like drawn to. I don't sell Scentsy. I just literally got my first package today with my first candle warmer ever and my wax melts from them because I have just heard nothing but good things about Scentsy. They are quality. They are warranted. They are good business ethics. I kind of like the idea of a flameless, you know, wax experience, fragrance experience. Anyway, that's that's what I'm doing here. So today is the long overdue luxury candle collection video. You guys, it took me a long time to get this out. I'm actually glad I did because I don't think I've ever unboxed them all the way. And so it was actually quite eye-opening and enjoyable and wonderful to unbox these candles. These are my luxury candles. Through these candles, I've purchased or I've been gifted. A couple of them I've been holding on to for, you know, a couple of years and it's just, you know, never enjoyed them because I never felt like I was worthy enough to burn them because it was like, well, I have one, so why would I burn it? But that's the whole point. Something that I've recognized with the majority of these, and I'll tell you the which ones that I will probably be uh, repurchasing that are, are decently priced that I think that I could do something maybe once a year and enjoy, especially if you shop sales or like, you know, with Sephora, for instance, I'm a Rouge member, so I buy all my skincare from them. It's not hard to become a Rouge member. And twice a year, they have the VIB sell where the Rouge members get early access to the to the sale and everything in their store is 20% off if you're a Rouge member. I don't know what the other levels are. Maybe the VIB member is like 15% and then like anybody during that sale can get 10%. But when you're a Rouge member, you get early access. It's like a week early or so many days early to all the products. And a lot of luxury products or products that are sold at Sephora, their companies don't normally have like any sales. And so to be able to get that 20% um, off is a big deal. That's for instance, where you can get some of these candles, uh, not all of them. So I, I probably would repurchase once a year, but the deal is, is that what I purchase, I need to burn. So before I can repurchase, I. I, it's really hard for me to say this and I don't know why it feels like this is like hard to like okay I'm gonna burn these ones because like they're just taking up space they're sitting in a box and I want to enjoy them with my family but at the same time I think it's like oh I had them but the whole point is to enjoy them, experience them, review them, which is another reason why I have a YouTube channel, let you know how my experience was. So maybe you don't wanna buy it if it doesn't work well. Like why would you spend that type of money, you know? And so I'm not gonna, you know, obviously I'm not made of money and I'm not gonna just be like buying willy nilly, but I do have a huge candle collection for which some of my candles from Bath & Body Works I'm putting up for sale on Mercari, which I will link in my description below. If you guys are interested to go take a look, I have some soap, you know, just like, it's mostly Bath & Body Works, like hand soaps, some body care, but mostly it was candles. I, it's actually going very well. I uh, started it two weeks ago and it's, I, it's, it's, 
coming along, trying to rehome some of this collection that I have because a lot of it was just backups to backups. I need not have backups to backups. And in some of these candles in this collection is okay. But like in my Kringle collection, you'll see that I have a few backups of some. There's some that I'm just not willing to not have backups of, but I don't need backups of scents that I'm just blindly buying. And that's what happens is you go into these cells and you black out, you know, shout out, comment down below if you understand what I'm talking about, especially Bath and Body Works when they're so well priced on sale that you can, you know, just go crazy and think, well, I'm just gonna pick this up. No, it's just, I have to get out of that habit. So I don't need to spend any more time going over that. I just want to kind of give you a little bit of background. But anyway, let's look at these wonderful beautiful candles and I will that will hopefully be a part of my empties this year I'm looking to burn every single one of these candles at some point in 2024 that is a goal and then I will be a YouTube channel that doesn't have a huge collection of luxury candles that I can say that I will purchase the ones that I have and I'll be able to unbox and smell with you guys and burn them yearly but that I don't have to hold on to or have this feeling that it's just I'm not good enough to burn these things they're they're something that I was gifted or purchased I, I'm gonna do it we're just gonna do it and we're gonna enjoy it okay all right so let's start with the top left first off I have a holiday gift set from LAFCO New York I just started getting into LAFCO this last holiday um, through YouTube reviews um, Josh from touch the fire twice had reviewed a bunch of candles from LAFCO they are highly priced these candles are super expensive but they do have um i don't know if they have the black friday sale but i got these after christmas and the vessels are incredible um i would love to once i do a burn them and do a review i'll show you what they look like they're just these thick glass i don't even know if they're painted they are just like incredible vessels so anyway this is the holiday gift set of the woodland spruce and white maple bourbon you guys immediately on on sheeting these from this box the scent was just filled the the filled my the room in front of me it just it that's not even burning them so they're very strong these are their i guess they would call them small candles i believe these are their 6.5 ounce candles i got this for like 30 dollars on discount and so that's a good good deal and i get two cents the holiday scents that's as far as i went there's not really any other scents that i was interested in that was in their regular line to try Try, but I think I'll take a look next around next fall to see like what they have come out that's holiday because I, I tend to like these luxury brands when they do really the holiday scents really well so the woodland spruce is this amazing spruce Christmas tree scent that you can tell when you smell it smells almost luxurious and then the white maple bourbon is not a gourmand it's very luxurious, very high-end scent that you don't smell like maple per se, but it does smell like sweet, kind of sugary. The bourbon really balances that out, and it's it's an incredible scent. I won't I won't go too much into details. I need to hold off, but um, when I do a review, we'll go over that. And then next to it is the Lafco Votive Trio, and I believe I got these for like thirty dollars each. Um, the one on the left is the Woodland Spruce Cinnamon Bark and Hazelnut Taroni. The Hazelnut Taroni is the one that I was like really wishing that I got a bigger size of, and it sold out. So I'm hoping it comes back next year. For now, we'll have the votives. They are strong, you guys. The wax is strong. These are, I'm not sure what the size is, but they're pretty hefty. Um, I, I don't know. They're just, I can't wait to burn them and go through that experience. I'll let you guys know. Next to that is the Woodland Spruce. So I have a few Woodland Spruce. Midnight Current in White Maple Bourbon in the Votives. Now, Midnight Current is probably one of my new favorite scents ever. It's that deep, dark fruit scent with almost like there's a citrus note to it but it's not like bright it's very festive holiday scent so i'm really excited about that one and then we already talked about white maple bourbon all right moving on to the next candle i have there is spiced pomander now i've been on the hunt because i got into kringle when melanie from mr kong's mom that's her youtube channel collabed with kringle and she made the vintage pomander candle and the way that it was described is something that I really wanted to smell. <laughs> it sold out. So I wasn't able to get that candle. And so I was able to get Lavco Spice Pomander. This is their 15.5 ounce. It's a single wick. I heard that there's some issues with the burning with the single wick. We will see if I can get that to burn properly. I'm just going to take really good care of these candles and hopefully 
um, but the vessel, I, this video's not giving it justice, it's huge. It's like the size of my hand. They're just beautiful. The Spice Pomander is just, it's it's what people who bought um, the Vintage Pomander for Kringle, it kind of like what they describe that is what I'm smelling with Spice Pomander. And so I am just incredibly excited to have this candle and I'm trying to hold on to burning it towards the holidays, but you know, Christmas is only one month. I'm not a seasonal burner per se, but I do, tend to save candles, you know, for certain times of the year, like a Christmas tree scent will be for Christmas tree. And that's that. So yeah, I might need to find time to burn these spiced pomander candle other than Christmas. Next is the Midnight Current in the 15.5 ounce. I'm really grateful that I was able to get my hands on this. These candles, you guys are normally um, $75 and I was able to get it for $45, so $30 off. I'm, I'm really excited to have it and try it out. And if nothing else, at least I've had like several Lafco does have a three wick candle and then they have like, I don't know if that's the last one that they have. Yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know that. No, I think a few scents that they have are in like the hearth size which, you know, are like $215. So that's not gonna happen. I do love me a big candle, but I, it's, that's not gonna happen. Unless it's a scent that I just can't live without. I would be willing to try a three wick in, a, in one of these scents, but I don't know that they do that with a holiday scent. I'll be on the lookout though. So these are really good candles. All right, next up, I, I've kind of had to stack some of the candles here. All right. So next up I have, this is kind of set up weird. Maybe I should have thought about this, but Anyway, in the le to the left I have, the bottom is a Capri Blue Volcano candle that I got in the 19 ounce size. They're single wicks. I got that as a gift for Christmas for my friend Mandy. That scent is incredible. Above it is the Illume Candles. Is a luxury brand candle that's normally sold at Nordstrom's, Macy's. You can basically find in any department store, you can find any Illume candle. But Illume has certain scents that are just like, you've probably smelled them before. They have Oh, Paloma Petal, which is a floral scent. They have Coconut Milk Mango is like really good creamy mango scent that's just like delicious. And then this is the one that I really love, which is Citrus Crush. Now, you might be shocked, you might not. I found this in Arizona. Our Kroger chain is called Fry's. And I found this in my local Fry's Marketplace. They are selling Illume in the tin because Illume also comes in these like shimmery vessels that just look incredible when you burn them. They're high, high quality. Those are very expensive. These ones on the other hand are not as expensive. I think I got this for like $14.99. These are the 11.5 ounce uh, tin candles and I'm really excited. It's so, it smells just like the Capri Blue Volcano candle. Um, and so on top of that, the little um, silver is the small jar of the Volcano Capri Blue candle. If you've seen my previous videos or any of my videos where I talk about Capri Blue, I just had a really, so I got the, the 19 ounce for Christmas and then I was in the mall in Anthropology and I went into their store and saw that they had a little sell for these small ones, but they're normally $16. So I bought one of these and then this other really beautiful glass jar that they had the scent in. And when I got home, I tried to burn one and the wick, it just smelled like burning wick. It was like, smelled toxic. And I got no scent out of it and I was really upset. So I cut the wick off and put it under my candle lamp and it was incredible. It's, it's not a candle to be burned at least at the smaller size. It, it was wonderful under my candle lamp. It lasted for a good week and it just filled my bedroom up and I have like a master ensuite. It, it just filled it up and it was an incredible scent. Warmed, but you shouldn't have to pay. It's a candle. And if you wanna burn the candle, you should be able to burn the candle and smell it. Um, Anthropology, I will never buy another one. Anthropology is not good at receiving feedback and they think their candle is perfect and it is very popular. And I love the scent, so I've been on a mission and I have several renditions of that scent from almost every candle company that I have bought from, minus the small business ones. And even Scentsy has a scent that smells like it and I will just go with that. I don't have to deal with, you know, these ridiculous expensive prices to get a cruddy burn, which is what happens with luxury sometimes, you guys. They're not necessarily the best. These ones that I have, I will burn and I'll let you know whether or not it's worth it. Under that, uh, the right Citrus Crush, I have the Hobnail Jar from Vallispa. It's their Cherry Gloss and it smells just like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. 
It is very light. It's probably a three or four on cold and she is not gonna burn very well. I already know, but it was the only form that they had in anthropology. I didn't know that it was released yet and it, it's a wonderful, wonderful scent. I am a, I have Tom Ford's Lost Cherry perfume. I also have like a several dupes of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I like to layer the dupes with Tom Ford's Lost Cherry so that I don't use it up as much. And um, that's just my one of my favorite scents. Other than like the Baccarat Rouge 540, which I do not have, um, but I do have Burberry Her, which some people are get, don't come for me or get offended, but some people are like, ah, oh, Burberry Her doesn't smell like it. it does to me. And I love to wear Sol de Janeiro's um, Beige Flor number 68 layers incredibly well with that. It's kind of like a form of the Baccarat Rouge 540. Also, Bath & Body Works has a scent called Fallen Bloom, which in the same category, like as Sol de Janeiro's number 68, it layers very well with the Burberry Her. So that's my other favorite scent. I guess I got off track. But anyway, coming back. So yeah, Cherry Gloss, much cheaper than you'll see soon. I have Tom Ford's Lost Cherry Candle which the cherry gloss was like one fifth of what that candle cost. <laughs> and so I have it, um, they do now have it in like a hearth size. They have it on the Valespa website. They have the three wick tin, which from, I've never burned a three wick tin, but I heard that is the best iteration of the candle to burn Valespa if you want to, you know, smell the scent in a way that feels like it fills the room versus you know what we kind of get out of their single which is just not great um but it's a beautiful jar i'll repurpose the jar it doesn't have a gasket on it so i i am gonna burn that one uh soon it was gonna be my valentine's burn but then you know homeworks homeworks has to come in with these wonderful scents and i just his harry slacken scandal took the cake you know and i burned burned his instead so i'm just gonna have to find the time to burn it and i will all right, next up I have Dior. This came as a gift for Christmas last year. I'm gonna see if it, my phone will focus when I come in. Okay, so this was their holiday 2022 candle holiday set. The scent in the middle, 30 Montaigne, that is like Dior's set, that's quintessential Dior. That is the scent from Dior. That is where, that is like the address of where Dior was originated in Paris. It's, it's actually a really great set. All three of these scents are, I believe, from, don't come for me, but correct me, okay? Um, I'm not like a, you know, Christian Dior connoisseur, but I do love Dior. These candles come from the Christian Dior, I think it's their Privy Collection, perfume scents that they have, or, you know, cologne scents that they have. So the first ones that I, I feel like, I don't know how to pronounce anything in, like, like I have, can speak French. I just can't. I can't do words even, obviously. The way that I'm speaking but the first one's to me is Amber Nui that one's just a very luxurious amber deep scent but it's none of them are nauseating they're just done very well and then the middle one is the 30 Montaigne it's Dior's like scent in a candle and the Jardin Dioringers is it literally smells like a garden of oranges it's got some herbal notes to it and then just a wonderful perfumey orange-esque scent to it and again i've been holding on to these candles i also had the 2022 advent calendar and i finally just used up a lot of it this year it came with that 30 montane candle and i was going to sell it on mercari and i pulled back and just gave it to my daughter my daughter loves christian dior and so i thought you know what she just was like over the moon, full of joy just to get the candle. And it's the one exact candle that's in the middle here. And it came on its own as the 25th day of the advent calendar. She just was so excited. It has its own box. It has its own little insert that came with it. And then the last two on this level are my Tom Ford. <sighs> Tom Ford. First of all, they're just way, he's way too expensive. This is just too much, but the scents are so good. I have Rose Prick candle and the wax is just stunning in that Rose Prick. It's completely black and it smells like a ton of roses. It's so good, but it's not like florally. It's, it's, per, it's just like his perfume. And then I have the Tom Ford Lost Cherry candle. Those will be used and never bought again. All right. So down here on the bottom row, we have some of the Nest collection that, well, it's the Nest collection that I have. 
I took the, them out of the box because again, I wanted to see them. I wanted to smell them. It gets me excited to burn them. I have three out of the four variations of the Nest Autumn Plum Candle. I am a plum girl. This is a scent that I absolutely love and I cannot wait to burn. So I have the Votive, I have the classic size eight ounce um, single wick candle, and then I have the three wick there, okay? And next to that, I have Nest's Holiday Candle and it just smells like Christmas, the holidays. And I feel like this one's gonna be a staple. Um, if Autumn Plum comes back, I'll definitely, cause I'm gonna burn it before the next holiday season. So in Autumn, I would repurchase Autumn Plum, probably just in the classic size, single wig. And the, because they're very fragrant, you guys. And then the Nest Holiday Candle, look how pretty, I just think the glass is so pretty. I would repurchase that one any of the nest candles i would and man they just know how to do fragrance it's it's incredible it's incredible and and so these are luxury these are the candles that i would rebuy they are luxury they did go up from last year's price and so they're at 48 dollars now so i think that's like going to be the tip of the top of the amount for any type of luxury candle. They are an amazing blend wax, they're clean burn, and so I would repurchase. So I have the holiday scent there, and then next to that is Sicilian Tangerine, and that one is just like strong. It's so strong, it's got that tangerine note, and it's got some herbal note to it too, so it kind of balances it out, and it's delicious. Next to that, is my new favorite candle, Madagascar Vanilla. It's more perfumey and not so gourmand, and it just kind of balances out the all the bakery scents that I have, and so that will be repurchased. However, all the places that sell Nest, nobody sells this except for Sephora and the Nest website, and you can only get it in the classic size, so I don't know if this is new, but I really hope that they hold on to it, and they, I guess I don't really need it in different sizes, I would get it in a three wick, that's how much I love it. But um, as long as I keep it in the classic size, I, I would get this one again. And then next to that is the Nest Votives um, for the holidays. So on the top there, you have the holiday scent. And then they have the, there's a birch wood pine um, scent that's in there, which is like the cr Christmas tree. And then I really can't remember what the third one was. Darn, I feel really bad that I don't know what that is, but I don't know what the third one is. It's from their holiday scent. So I know one's a pine, one's the holiday. Oh, it's like on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, we'll just keep going and sorry about that. All right, next to the Nest Votives, I have the Maison Louis Marie. I actually have the, um, this top candle is number four. I just call it Balancourt because I can't speak French. But this is the candle, it's $38. I got it um, on sale from Sephora at, for $28. I actually own the perfume oil of this number four scent and I also have the um, Eau de Parfum in this scent. It's an incredible scent. I can't even describe it to you, but if you're at a Sephora, smell it and then leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Yeah, it's it's very luxurious. It's It's not sweet, it's... I don't even know how to describe it, you guys. It's so good. Oh, maybe it's this is say it. Let's go. What does it say here for the notes? Okay, top. Sandalwood, cedarwood, mid, vetiver, nutmeg, cinnamon, and base is amberwood. But I'm telling you guys, when you you hear those notes, you're like, oh, okay, but I'm, it's, I don't know. Just go smell it. It's just incredible, the scent. Okay. On the bottom of that is a gift set of the Maison Louis Marie, and it's their holiday candle set. And again, it has number four, and then it has number 13, which I can't even tell you the name of it. <laughs> but it is like the fireside scent. It's, it's really, really good and well-balanced. And so I've never burned the candle. I've only had the perfume, so I look forward to burning it. And um, I'll let you guys know how that goes. And then last but not least, I have my two replica candles. I have By the Fireplace and Beach Vibes. By the Fireplace was another candle that I had the votive in the Sephora, like five luxury votive candles um, collection. And then you get to pick one for a full size. And this is the candle I got. So it's By the Fireplace. It is, if you love like a marshmallow fireside, this is a more luxurious form of that. And it actually smells like you're, you're by a fireplace. And this is something that I love about Replica. So on the front of their candles, they also make perfumes, but they have a label that's actually fabric. <laughs> 
that label is is fabric and so it's really really soft and like by the fireplace it tells you the provenance and period for which this scent was was experienced by the perfumer the one that makes the scent and i can't even tell you what that the chamonix <laughs> oh lord but is in, from 1973 the fragrance description that was noted was burning wood and chestnuts and the style description is memory in a candle. And that's basically what Replica is based upon is these memories that are experienced and they either make them in a perfume or they put that scent into the candle. And so next to it is a candle called Beach Vibes. Now Replica has a, the perfume. So they have by the fireplace and a perfume, but they have Beach Walk in a perfume. And I'm not really sure why the candle says Beach Vibes. I'm not sure if the experience is a little different. It smells a little different than the perfume, but again, it's it's a scent that was in the provenance of Calvi in 1972. The fragrance description that was noted as sun-kissed salty skin, and the style description was memory in a candle. So usually the perfume is memory in a perfume. It's, it's a really cool company. I, I really enjoy it. Um, I, I have a little deluxe mini of the Beach Walk, and my daughter has by the fireplace because she loves to smell like that. I don't want to smell like it. I just want to smell it in, in home fragrance. So yeah. All right, guys. So I know you can see me up there. Hey. Um, anyway, um, that is my luxury candle collection. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you. If you stayed this long, please like, comment, and subscribe if you will. I will link some of the stuff down below if it is available. I know Autumn Plum is like I, you can only find it at Amazon um, at the moment because it's not in season. The same with holiday. But some of these other candles, if we can find them, I will link them in the description. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.